Let's see how we solve this radical equation. The square root of x minus 9 is equal to 9 minus the square root of x. We'll start by squaring both sides of the equation. When we do that, the left side of the equation just becomes x minus 9 because the square and the square root cancel each other out. They are opposite operations. But the right hand side is really a FOIL problem. It's the binomial 9 minus the square root of x times itself. So this is going to require a full FOIL. 9 times 9 gives us 81. 9 times negative square root of x is a negative 9 square root of x. For the inners I have negative square root of x times 9 which is also a negative 9 square root of x. And when I do the lasts, I have a negative times a negative, which is a positive, and I have square root of x times itself. Well, that just becomes an x. It's really x squared inside the square root, which are opposite operations. So let's clean up the right-hand side of this equation right now. These two terms here in the middle are alike, and I can add them together, which gives me 81 minus 18 square root of x plus x. Let's see, x is what I want to get all by itself. So at this point, we can subtract x from both sides of the equation, which makes x cancel out on both sides of the equation. And while we're at it, we can subtract 81 from both sides of the equation. This gives us a negative 90 on the left side of the equation is equal to a negative 18 square root of x. How about at this point, we divide both sides of the equation by negative 18. If we do this, the left side becomes a positive 5, and the right side just becomes the square root of x, because the negative 18s cancel here, and a pos sorry, a negative divided by another negative is simply a positive. 90 divided by 18 is just a 5. All right, I'm running out of room, so I'm going to scoot this up over here and finish off this problem. Let's now finally get our x by itself by doing the opposite of square rooting, which is squaring. If we square both sides of the equation, the left side becomes 25 and the right side becomes x. There's our final answer. Our final value for x is 25. It's always a really good idea to make sure that the answer that you have or answers that you have really do solve the equation. So I suggest you, you plug that 25 back into the original problem everywhere you see an x and verify that it solves the equation. 25 minus 9 does give us a 16 inside of a square root, which we all know is a 4. And uh, if you put 25 inside of this radical here, that gives us a, um, the square root of 25, which is a 5. So we're left with 9 minus 5 on the right side, which is also a 4. So yes, 25 is our final answer, which solves this equation.